Now, uh, women in leadership positions have been charged to be more intentional about inclusivity and address issues that are of concerns to women at the workplace to enable them to maximize their potential in life. This charge was given by the Executive Director of Women in Management of Business and Public Service Wimbis and Satu Adegbite at the occasion of the year 2024 International Women's Day held in Lagos. Now, applause to the correspondent local Kukuyo was there. And our reports. In this hall are women of all ages, class, and pedigree. Their mission is to educate, inspire, celebrate women's achievements, and raise more awareness about equality and inclusivity for women at the workplace in commemoration of this year 2024 International Women's Day. The day also provides an opportunity for them to ruminate about the progress made in implementing policies relating to human rights and gender equality. Themed, be inspired, be inclusive. Speakers after speakers run the audience through inspiring stories at what kept them afloat in their career. A stage play and a documentary on women and voting rights is viewed by the audience, depicting the supreme price paid many years ago for women voting rights. A lot of our political parties do not allow our women to get to the point where they should be. Somehow they are pushed to the side and there's always one argument or another. But in some countries we find out that you cannot present your candidates list without there being a certain percentage of women. But we don't have that. Even the Electoral Act has not allowed that because who are those who make the law? It's a male-dominated parliament, a male-dominated national assembly. It's a very difficult position that women find themselves in today as far as fulfilling the dreams and visions of the early suffragettes. Hansatu Adegbita is the executive director of Women in Management, Business and Public Service, WIMBIS, while BC Adeyemi, Chairman Board of Trustees, WIMBIS. Did was speak to journalists on the sideline of the event, expressing excitement about the theme of the 2024 IWD. This year's theme, Inspire Inclusion, is sincerely what women in management business and public service, WIMBIS has been doing for the past 23 years. It is about inspiring women, empowering them to attain leadership positions in business, in management, and in public service. And so it's ab about empowering them to be economically empowered, empowering them to be leaders in their various sectors and industries, and empowering them to have a voice. And so inspiring inclusion is what WIMBIS is already known for is how to inspire more women and we do this by you know bringing uh, women who had accomplished in their careers to come and you know tell other women how they have done it and we do this in so many ways so we have a mentoring program because it's not enough to just come and talk about inspiring but you have to actually have a formal program so we have formal programs where we uh, mentor younger people in their careers and professions and of course in entrepreneurship as well Ungazi Ayegbuna believes that women must show that they are available so that they can be included. Those women who have been placed in that position, what results have they delivered? Because if women are doing extremely well, it will encourage governments to use more of us. But if the performance is abysmal, then they'd wonder, was it worth it? So it's left for us to prove that the responsibility given to us that we're able to carry it out satisfactorily. These women say they have indeed been fired up for inclusivity roles in their workplace. It was a great day to spend uh, my IWD moment with um, Wimbis. I'm taking away a lot from this meeting today. First off, in my workplace, in my social life, in my social circles, I'm going to be intentional about looking for ways to include other women, other young girls. And of course, we will try to include the other sexes as well. Be more intentional, be more understanding. The take home from, from the program today is to be more intentional, to be able to 
mentor young ladies. Funny enough, is what I do already because I believe that if you encourage a young lady, if you are there for them, support them, just like I have mentors as well, female mentors, I, I want to be more intentional to ensure that we are there for them, that everybody has an opportunity to be at the table. As a message of inclusivity reverberates across the world, these women strongly hold that a lot of difference can be made when they come together, share and speak with one voice. Love Ikuku Oyedokun, Plus TV News.